Good evening, Mayor, Council Members, Committee Members, and Members of the Public. My name is Tim Kelly. I'm the Special Operations Commander with the Police Department. This presentation is going to be regarding the department's purchase of a new emergency mobile command vehicle. It will be the recommendation of the department that the Community Services, Public Safety, and Housing and Development Committee recommend that City Council approve and authorize the purchase order with Emergency Vehicles Incorporated, or EVI, in the amount of $698,513.91, as well as approve the purchase and use of this vehicle since it is technically uh, defined as military equipment under California Government Code 7070C5. On March 29, 2022, City Council authorized the use of $750,000 of the American Rescue Plan Act funds, or ARPA, to be utilized by the department for the purchase of a new emergency command vehicle and the upfitting of that vehicle. Uh, this vehicle will be replacing the department's existing vehicle, which has uh, become antiquated and unfortunately is unable to fulfill the department's needs. Our existing command vehicle was purchased in 2000 and due to its age is no longer equipped with relevant technology uh, that is required uh, to meet uh, the department's mission. Uh, the average life expectancy of these types of vehicles is approximately 20 years and this is due largely to uh, evolving technologies and just the general unavoidable deterioration that occurs with time. Uh, the photograph at the bottom of the slide is a photograph of our existing command vehicle. Uh, that's the vehicle we intend to replace. Uh, the new command vehicle will assist with several different missions, critical missions. Uh, those include things like uh, during natural disasters, uh, large community events, uh, during tactical operations, uh, crime scene investigations. Um, it will give the department better command and control of these types of uh, incidents. Uh, it will also uh, serve as an emergency backup communication center in the event of a catastrophic failure of our communication center located at our police headquarters. Uh, the photograph at the bottom of the slide is a vehicle that was built by EBI, uh, although this is not the vehicle that we uh, are hoping to purchase because that hasn't been built yet. Uh, it is very similar in size and uh, appearance and gives you a, a better idea of what it is that we're looking to purchase. Uh, this photograph of, uh, is also of a vehicle that was built by EDI. Uh, this is inside looking at the rear half of the vehicle. Um, although this is not exactly what we hope to have built, it's very similar. Uh, we, we hope to have a, a conference area with some workstations located at, uh, in the back. Uh, it'll be equipped with computers, communications devices like radios and phones, and also uh, smart boards and other displays. Uh, this is just some information on EVI. Uh, they're located in Florida. They've been around for over 50 years, and they're one of a, a handful of, of manufacturers that build these types of vehicles. After we received notification of funding, we began to contact several vendors. Uh, EVI was eventually selected due largely uh, because of its ability to meet the needs that we specified. Uh, for the procurement of this vehicle, EVI will utilize Houston Galveston Area Council Cooperative Pricing. Uh, pursuant to the City of Oxnard Ordinance number 2943, which was adopted June 19th of 2018, uh, the use of cooperative purchasing whereby multiple government agencies enter into a contract to collectively procure a vendor is permitted. Upon receiving this vehicle, our current command vehicle will be submitted for sale or auction. Beginning on January 1st, 2022, uh, Assembly Bill 41 was codified in California Government Code Section 7070 through 7075 and basically mandates that all law enforcement agencies obtain approval from their applicable governing body via the adoption of a military equipment use policy by ordinance before 
uh, the law enforcement agency can fund, acquire, or use any type of military equipment. Uh, this type of vehicle is, is in fact considered military equipment under California Government Code Section 7070C5. Uh, it basically defines uh, a command vehicle as uh, a vehicle that is built or modified to facilitate the operational control and direction of public safety units. Uh, upon approval, this will be listed in our uh, military equipment inventory, which can be found in Oxnard Police Department Policy Section 708 and is available uh, to the public through the Oxnard Police Department's website. The cost of the mobile command vehicle uh, is $698,513.91. This includes the uh, chassis and the building of the box um, by EVI, as well as um, much of the uh, uh, equipment. Uh, the remaining allocation of $51,486.09 will be utilized for purchases of things like uh, radios, computers, um, smart boards, digital displays, and potentially a, a tethered unmanned aerial vehicle. Uh, these will be all purchased uh, through yet to be identified vendors. Uh, the department will work with the purchasing department to ensure all vendor selections and purchases follow the city of Oxnard purchasing policy. It's the recommendation of the department that uh, it be approved and authorized uh, to execute a purchase order with uh, Emergency Vehicles Incorporated, EVI, in the amount of $698,513.91, as well as approve the purchase and use of this vehicle, which again is defined as military equipment. That concludes my presentation. If uh, anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them at this time.